So I'm going to be checking the pH level in my fish tank. And they think it's all food, so they're trying to eat it. And they're nibbling on my fingers. I guess they're hungry. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it says 5.8 and it's dropping. That is really low. I need to raise the pH level like drastically. Let's go ahead and feed these guys real quick because obviously they're hungry. Eating, I'm going to be using this oyster shell and coral. I'm going to put it in a laundry bag and stick it in the sump. So we'll just let this hang there and see what the pH looks like tomorrow morning. Alright, next morning it looks like it's um, a little over 6. Alright, I just got this in the mail. It is crushed coral. Um, it's got that chicken feed, so maybe this will work a little bit better. It only raised it a little bit. Chicken feed. Raised a little bit. So let's see what this is. The oyster shells and the crushed coral did a pretty good job. This is what it looked like after it stayed in the fish tank overnight. But let's go ahead and add some no coral here. So didn't add a whole bunch, but I added enough. That's about all I have in there, and I have a mixture of both. And I added more to the sump tank also. Interesting enough, my duckweed pond, the pH is 8.3. Alright, good morning. Let's see what the pH says this morning. 6.3, 3, 6.31 through 6.32. Not bad. It's really raising a lot. I'm very impressed. And the sump tank is about the same thing, so it's pretty good. Alright, and it looks like um, it raised to 6.55 pH in the tilapia fish tank. And it's a beautiful 6.57 in the sump tank with all my goldfish and my single tilapia that fell through one of those tubes. I have extremely high pH, a 9.32 it looks like in my tank here that I am growing some duckweed and I found a little fish it just start, started growing spontaneously. My duckweed pond is about 8 pH and it's way too hot and it's dying. I need to throw some oxygen in here. So I'm adding a pump with a venturi on it and I'll throw some oxygen in here and hopefully my duckweed will recover.